Okay, hello there. We're going to confirm and edit an event in the strings attached Google Calendar. So I'm going to head over there, google.com slash calendar. I'm going to click on this month tab right here, find the event, which in this case is in November. So I'm clicking this right here to advance to the next month. And hoping that the dog in the kitchen is not getting into the food. November 12th, it's party tentative. I'll click on the event and it'll show some inf information. I'll go down here to edit event details. Now this event has been confirmed, so I'm going to put in here, I'm going to take this out of here, and then down here in the description, I'm going to put confirmed. Okay. And I have some more details to add. So I'm going to add the details. I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I added some details here in this area. And it was a, I put a note up here. Please read the details before accepting. Confirmed. Okay, now that I've edited this, I want to send an update out to the players about that. Everybody over here on the right-hand side is going to get the update. When I click Save... It'll say, would you like to send updates to existing guests? Uh, I just realized there's something I got to do before I continue. I'm going to take this out. Okay, now I go, yes, I'd like to send. Boom. Okay, that's all you have to do. Now the players are updated, and you want to check back in a day or two to see who's responded. The way you do that is you click on the event just like this go to event details and you can see over here on the right hand side who said yes who said no and still who is hasn't responded yet over on the right hand side so that's how you make uh, that's how you edit an event and confirm it with the players but you need to be very careful because we don't want to be sending a lot of uh, notices sometimes if you press the save and you don't watch carefully I'll show you for example here save I just made a little change down there, and if you press send, it's going to send them another update, and it'll confuse the heck out of them. So you go this, take the little edit that I just had in there, out, save. Okay, and that didn't that didn't do it. So that that's how you do that.